Help me. Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. I'm coming at you with another Amber and Reed react because they're so fun to do. Um, it's been a while since our girls uploaded. It's been, I think, about a week. Um, we all saw my video that I posted a couple days ago about the Snapchat rants and all that good stuff. So if you haven't, I'm gonna put a card up and you can check those out. But I'm excited to see what our girls been up to. The title of this video is Not Feeling Well, Surprise for Becky and Helping the Homeless. So she's probably desperate for content. So this should be really interesting. So without further ado, let's get into the react. Hello everyone. Hello Welcome Amberlynn. Vlog, how are you guys doing today? Better than you probably. Good. By the way, I got a new water dispenser, and this one is hmm. so much better and so much easier because you actually put the water down there instead of up here, and it don't look gaudy because the one, the white one I had. So the pH water thing, that's not a thing anymore. That was all bullshit. Um, I mean, I don't know. You're still going to buy bottled water. We know you. We know how lazy you are. Like, you have a water... F I can't. You have a water filtration system in that refrigerator alone. It has a water filter in it. So, like, for you to go and get this special water thing, it's stupid, dude. Like, it's so dumb. No. Nope. Wasn't doing very good. But anyways, you guys, I'm wearing my Gryffindor sweater, and I want to show you. Let me set you guys sweater? down real quick. So I'm just wearing a black dress with my Gryffindor sweater. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Can you guys see it? I don't know. Hopefully. You can't even, like, so, there's so much fabric in that. And, like, I don't even think she could get that to close in front of her. So I wanted to do my makeup today, but... I am running out of time. For someone who does nothing, this I hate it when she does it. She's like, I'm running out of time. I don't have time. You don't do anything. You have literally nothing but time on your hands. If you scheduled out your day like a normal person and woke up at a normal hour, because I know you got to get to Walmart before they close or whatever, like you can wake up at 6 p.m. and get your makeup done and start vlogging by like 7 and get to Walmart by 8. Like, it's ridiculous. Got some cute earrings going on, but Becky is actually on her way to pick me up. We're gonna go hang out with some friends. So regarding the candy corn, I just wanna say, I do remember, oh I told you guys to guess how much candy corn was in that wine glass. I know there have been who some cares? people who have guessed. <laughs> I so bet the, the people at your party is, didn't care either. Dun, 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 227 candy corn. That you ate, I'm glass, sure, so. that you have already ingested. So, one of my biggest pet peeves when you hold a door open for someone and no thank yous, no acknowledgements. Who manners cares? Manners out the window. Manners have. Oh, Miss Manners over here is going to talk about manners. Miss uh, filming herself, turning her flash on in movie theaters, filming random strangers in public. Like, come on, girl. The, the point of doing things like that is not to be not to have consideration for it or to not be told like, oh, you did a great job or thank you. You do it out of the kindness of your heart. It's not about the reaction of others. You do for others because you want to do for others, not because you're seeking something in return for it. That's the problem with Amber Lynn, dude. She expects things to be like, any little thing she expects like some kind of gratification for. It. It's annoying. Up the chat, so. You oh, is she going to flip the camera off because some dude didn't say thank you to you? The camera, they don't. I'm sure you did a shitty hand. job keeping that camera so, open anyway. So, as you guys know, I've been trying to or get the door. controversy mini palette and the conspiracy palette. So, my friend Samantha, a.k.a. Pink Sparkles here on oh, YouTube. Okay. All right. Pink, everyone remember who fucks with this person. Pink Sparkles. I don't know who this person is, but she's trash too. Told me that I can pre-order it, but watch what happens every time. Oh! <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, what? That's, you know when Amberlynn's fucking full of shit when she does the, wait, what? That's like her, li like, that's like, she she was filming this and then she saw that this was happening, that it was working, and she was like, oh my God, I can bust my camera out and, re and refilm this real quick. That's what wait, what means. Oh no. See, there's always something wrong. Okay, every time that I would add the conspiracy I don't know why thing, you need all this makeup why do you need all of this makeup now that this one works it's a new horde this one's sold makeup out. has a shelf life y'all this has become the hardest thing to get in in the century no the hardest thing 
this century is getting you to stick to a diet to save your life. Like they literally have broken the internet. So I want to buy these at the same time. So I'm just gonna have to wait. I already have a few things in the cart, but I wanna buy it, everything all at once. Hey guys, so it's way This is where all this money goes. Sorry, she saves none of her money. You, like at all. It has been kind of a busy day because Becky had an appointment and then um, we had to go to the vet and now Becky's picking up some medicine. So it's just Wow, a what a busy day. I mean, my god. How do you find the time of day to go to a appointment and a vet visit and run by the pharmacy on the way home? Bitch, that's like Monday, Tuesday, like, I can't, dude. Her, I, I would, I've said this before, I would love for her to go on Wife Swap and then force her to, like, m work a job for a whole week and see what it's really like to put in 40, 45 hours a week at a job and then come home and take care of the stuff at home because she has no fucking idea. No idea what the real world is like. She's, she's lost all of her relatability. A little bit of a adventurous day if you will and i never really vlog like those parts of the day because it's like what is there to show you know so it has been kind of busy if it's such a so busy day don't you think vlog. there's things to show she looks hey so guys cute. so it's actually the next day she looks so i'm awful. having a little bit of nerves that's why my face is like super red i'm actually about to call a homeless shelter that's kind of nearby because it is the colder Months, I feel like a lot of people go into the homeless shelter when it does start getting more colder outside. Mm -hmm. So I want to call them, see if they need anything. And if they do, one of these upcoming days, I'm going to actually go shopping and donate. I'm imagining it's going to be like canned food, some blankets, socks, toothpaste, toothpaste, like just hygiene things. I really... So basically, just go and take whatever you get, Destiny and Dana. Just... just times that by 20 and buy the same things you would get destiny and dana and take that to the homeless shelter it's there are like four things that are like the tried and trues of donating to charity canned goods blankets clothes and bottled water if you take those four things they will always say yes like it's just like it's not that you can go on a you could probably they have a website it's 2019 i'm sure you could probably go on the website and it would tell you exactly what they need but because amberlynn is starved for content she's gonna film this i can't this is so stupid love donating and giving to the people who need it so I'm about we've to call. literally never heard you anxiety, talk about so. giving to charity before Hi. ever so oh scared. we're gonna film this Miss, uh, I don't want people filming me without their without my con my consent is gonna film herself on a call with a stranger who what do I even she's say? not gonna get consent for. Something scratching me in the back. Sorry. Oh. We're gonna we are really gonna sit here through this whole thing. Okay. Can't take your call now. Right, because they're doing, they're working. No one answered. Yeah. I'm going to be annoying, and I'm going to call again. Oh, my God. Are we going to sit here through this, too, again? I get so much anxiety just waiting for someone to pick up. Oh, my God. I, I, she was so up in arms about that woman taking that five-second grainy-ass video of her. But here she is trying to call someone and record them without their consent. I, it's, I, this is why I can't stand her or Chantel because literally they talk, they do this all the time where it's like they have these spe special specific set of rules that only applies to everyone else, but they can do whatever they want, say whatever they want all the time. Like, this is why I can't stand them. They're the worst at this. Why are we filming this? Why is this in the vlog? It makes no sense. She just wants content. See, this is what I mean. Like, this is the very thin line on YouTube when people, when vloggers and stuff want to do things for charity. If you want to do something for charity and you want to raise awareness for it, then just say it. Say, I I'm doing this for this charity. This is what's happening. Um, you can donate here, blah, blah, blah. But when people do shit like this, 
Like, she's literally hasn't even donated to the charity or anything yet. And she's already filming herself in preparation for it. And it's all for ass pats. It's all for clout. It's all for views. This is where the line gets blurry. Because it's like, I don't really think that she's really out here trying to help the homeless because she like feels the need to help the homeless. I think that she's bored. She has nothing to film and she needs content. So here we go. I'll fucking sit here and film myself waiting for someone to answer the phone call at the homeless shelter. Like that. It's stupid. Take your call now. Okay, so they're not answering, so I'm definitely going to call again either later today or maybe wait another day. They could be busy. I don't know. That kind of makes me sad, but I don't want people. Like, they have shit going too. on over there, dude. It's a homeless so shelter. I ended up actually calling the shelter earlier today. I was out in public when I did it, so I wasn't vlogging or anything. They did answer. And I asked them what they needed. Out in public, but it looks like you haven't left your house paper, and God knows how long. Um, paper towels, paper plates, and paper bowls. So I'm going to be getting those things. I'm also going to be getting like other things like toilet toiletries and stuff like that. But I just want to say my face is hardcore breaking out. Like to the point of it could be stress. I have been having a lot of panic attacks lately, like really bad ones. Thank Very God. bad. So like she filmed us, she sat there and filmed herself making these phone calls. And then like, she could have literally just, she could have cut all that out and then just put, gone straight to this clip of her being like, well, I called them and this is what they needed. And this is what I'm gonna go get, take them. Simple as that. But she needed views. She needed the extra minutes to add as content. So. Or it's these. So I usually use Neutrogena when it comes to makeup wipes because there's like a sensitive skin one. But I decided, you know, let's do something different. And this is the All May Ultra Hydrating one. I don't know. It could be from this. Could be from the stress. Could be from like new makeup I've been buying. I don't know. But I'm going to like test it out. From you see not what's going on. Cleaning your face I'm actually going to stop using all these. I'm going to go on. get the kind that I normally use because My I actually God. prefer the other kind because they're softer, more gentle on the skin, they smell way better, and I feel like they also take off my makeup way better, so. So right now I'm just doing some writing. So people have been talking about the mattress on the bed. It does not stay in the living room at all in the slightest, so don't- Then why is it in there now? And why was it in there the other day? See, this is what, she fucking lies about the dumbest things, dude. The dumbest things. Like, we've seen the fucking mattress in the room for how long now? Like, it's been a couple vlogs. We've seen it just sitting in the living room without a fucking sheet on it, too, at that. Just on that mattress, bare-assed. Like, I can't. Don't worry about that. This is strictly for, like, we just put it out here for when I've been sitting in those chairs for too long over yonder. Because sometimes my legs do hurt when they're down for long periods of time. But I That's do want to tell you guys, back yonder... Back in the day, I don't know why I keep saying yonder. I used to say that all the time. Don't ask. I've never heard you say that, um, but okay. I would okay. sit in chairs for like a solid 10 minutes before I was like aching. Now, hi Twink. Now I am able to sit in chairs for like hours and be totally fine. That's but not true because like literally a year and a half to almost two years ago, you would sit there and you guys would play board games all night and there wasn't a mattress in the living room. But now that you're able to sit in the chairs for longer periods of time, now you need the mattress in the living room. If that, if, if your mobility is so much better and you're able to sit in the, in the living room for longer or sit in the, in, the, in, the, in the chairs for longer, then why don't you just get up when your legs start to hurt and walk into your bedroom and sit on your bed in the bedroom? Is it because you can't make it to your bedroom? But then that would imply that your mobility is lacking and, they, and you've lost mobility. See, this doesn't make any sense to me. Like... Why do you need the mattress in your room now? If your mobility has gotten so in the living room now, if your mobility has gotten so much better, why do you need the? Why is there a necessity for the mattress now? That makes no sense. But this, yeah, this is just dragged out here when, like, I've been sitting there for too long. Who drags it out? Hang out and play a game or something like that. And I've already been sitting there for too long. I don't know why I have to keep explaining myself. Like everyone Cause... is totally fine with it, which I'm very grateful. And one of these days, this doesn't, this isn't going to be something that has to happen. I just. But a year ago, this wasn't happening. This is, I don't get it, dude. It, it, this to me implies that you are getting worse, not better. The fact that you need a mattress in the living room. I've seen comments where people are like, oh my God, I bet everyone's so annoyed that sometimes they have to have a mattress. No, people actually care about me. And 
so they're not they can act they can care about you and still think that you're an inconvenience don't get it twisted not annoyed with it at all so anyways i'm gonna keep on writing i'm just having like a cool calm collective moment i'm not sure that's all your later, life is nothing but, but cool, cool calm collected moments you do nothing so nauseous i don't even think i have words for it i had is that the shit she was wearing yesterday too i took that about an hour ago <laughs> Still hasn't helped. I hope I'm not getting sick. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of falling apart all at once. And I know exactly what the hater's going to say. It's because you're almost 600 pounds. I can, like, write the story for you. I hurt my leg the other day, so that's been, like, hurting really bad. But I woke up today. Hurt your and leg doing better. what? Started my period a couple days ago. I'm having, like, some gallstone situation. If you guys don't know, I have gallstones, and that's been kind of flaring up lately. I think I have kidney stones. Like, we can just go down the whole, oh, like, God. line of things. I've been having panic attacks. My face is breaking out. And you being four to 500 pounds overweight isn't an addition to that? It's not exacerbating all of these issues that you're having? No, it, can't, it couldn't possibly be that. So many people would be like, this is the end for you. No, it's really not. Um, I'm just like being as strong as possible. My friends invited us to go get a bite to eat, so we're gonna go of do course. that. Feels really well enough to go out to eat, home, of course. I'm shocked. Not, the type to just not like, no, that's cool. So not if shocked. people wanna hang out with me, I normally usually say yes. And then afterwards, I need to go grocery shopping because more food. I feel like there's not much food in this house. I need some like healthy it's things so to feel better. Because I firmly believe things. that the food you're putting in your body like really deciphers how you feel 100%. if that was the case then why i can't dude is, did she really does she does she watch this back ever and is like i say some really dumb shit off the top of the cup like i feel like what you put in your body deciphers how your body feels then if that were the case wouldn't you have changed your diet a long time ago and not be 580 pounds percent Okay, you guys, so I got Becky a little gift a -roni. So I'm going to open it. Of course, she gets to open Becky's her. gift first. Would you guys rather see her react? Why can't Becky open her own gift? I'm, Dude, she's such a narcissist. I can't, Look at those fucking marshmallow arms. Reaction? Yeah, probably. So do you want to turn this around? God forbid <laughs> Becky got to open her own present. What is she, like a fucking good. toddler? Even two-year-olds get to open their own presents. Yes, it is. Okay, close your eyes. Becky actually looks better. <clears throat> I'm gonna open it, okay? <laughs> Becky looks like she's the the mother of like two naughty ass four and five year old kids that are just she's at her wit's end. She just can no longer take it. She's gonna lose her goddamn mind at any second. She's talking through her teeth, getting these little rock rats in that is Becky, the house down right there. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Hold on. Okay. She doesn't even get to take it out of the thing either. It's a Ravenclaw Catch sweater. There. Is that what it is? Yes, it is. Okay, I guessed it. Wow, I'm so happy for her. Can I open my eyes a little bit? <laughs> Can I open my eyes? You already okay. watched. She already. We watched you open your eyes and look oh, at it. That's oh. So cute. Remember, you wanted one. Wow. Yeah. That's Let a fucking. Okay. Do you want to wear it like with it open, like how I wore mine with the cardigan? Let her decide for herself. My God, dude. <laughs> Why do you micromanage everything? Just let her live. She's oh, a fucking uh, autonomous you know adult. She about? drives you around places. I got her a blue ribbon claw. Oh, good. Now she can wear it with a hedge wig scarf I got her that she never can wear. <laughs> I hope it fits. It's looking a little tight. <laughs> it's tight. You might want to wear it open. Oh! I mean, it looks good. It's uh -uh. very like girl clothing. So Becky's uh -uh. used to she needs manly a size things. Up. So what do you think? No. Do you want to open it? Don't want to open it, dude. Can you just let her live her fucking life, Amber? My God, dude, I, that how exhausting. <laughs> Here, let me help you. Jesus, is she like a two-year-old? She can't do anything by herself. I feel like they look better when they're open, like wearing them like as a cardigan type style. Cardigan type style? It just say cardigan go. style. You don't have to add the type to think? the situations in. Do you like it? Yeah, it's cute. God, what would you Amber wear it can with? barely stand. I don't know. You don't think I could wear it with whatever? I mean, it's up to you, yeah. 
It's cute. It's apparently not up to her, oh, Amber, because you've so uh, you. you've you've know. micromanaged this entire thing. <laughs> she didn't even so get to open really it herself. Oh, my favorite part. Vlog, Here we go. But I knew I had to because I have responsibilities and I have to upload this vlog. So we're gonna do comment of the day. Responsibilities. This is from Come shopping with me. Huge makeup haul. Halloween. She really likes to inflate what I she does for a living. She really is out here Honestly, like making herself seem way more important and way more like me. busy than she really so is. Things. Went to outside of my comfort zone. Hung out with friends. We just had a great time. So. Okie dokie. Here we go. She isn't seriously ill. She is cancer free. I'm not sure who you're referring to. She's talking about Norma. She's talking about the ghost scammy that you've refused to acknowledge to this day. Without watching, I'm going to guess she went as Pogo the Clown. <laughs> nope, I went as Hermione. She needs to lose 14 inches all around. True. I need to lose more than that. <laughs> Isn't sad the only way she can get people to her parties is it's to give about out cash, cash prizes. prizes. Normal so prizes true. Are well below the cash Oh, so why is she bleeping out cow? That's not true. It's because so weird. If you guys know who Gabby is from Nikki and Gabby, she She's had crap a too. Halloween party and was giving out thousands and thousands of dollars. Right, because she that's the only way you can get those influencer people around you to show up for things is to give them expensive things because none of them are real ass friends with one another. That bitch doesn't even have an identity of her own. Her entire existence is based off of someone else. So like, are, are you really going to, is that the person you want to talk about right now to, to compare your life to? Is someone who can't even, doesn't even know what she wants to look like every day? Like, ah, okay, girl. So I'm not the only one who does it. Um, I also did it last year and a lot of people said stuff about it. I just think it's really fun to win cash. It's like, honestly, super fun. If I went to a party and someone was doing that, I'd be like, oh, wow, you put a lot of thought into this. Not really cash. Giving out cash takes cash no thought. Guess. To me, it's a flex. So when I saw Gabby upload that video, I was like, oh my God, I'm not the only one who does this. So when have you ever done that? When have you ever, like, what? I can't. So she took her idea, but then she uploaded it, or she saw Gabby and was like, oh my god, we did the same. It's, it, it can't be, it can't be both. It has to be either or, dog. Not true. Reason of the power outage. You Your suck. effect on gravity created a massive black hole that, that sucked, sucked, up, all sucked up all the energy around you. Yes, that person spelled correct. energy wrong. How is that Becky's costume? Isn't that her normal everyday wear? True. No, she would never wear those pants out in public. Those are the, that's where Becky's gonna draw the line on her fashion. Those pants, those, those, she, did you see the pants she was wearing in this video? They're pretty much the same. Public ever. I thought her costume was super cute. That's a reply to someone. A reply to someone. Imagine having lift, ha, sorry, I'm stumbling on words. Imagine having lymphedema hanging off your stomach like a pair of balls and still not getting help. True. That's definitely True. Not what it looks like. That, but that's what she took from that. I can't, dude. That's what she took from that comment. The what it looked like, not the the seriousness of the medical issue. I, she's not gonna get help. She's not. She's not gonna. I'm gonna say it here right now. This is her life. This will be it. That's a reply to someone. She doesn't get it. Six ads. Nice one. Yes. I like to put ads in there. Um, yeah, because you're greedy. Every single time, will there be an ad? Girl, don't play that game ad where i put it it's kind of like a little parking spot if some if a, like a company wants to add an ad they have that freedom of doing so and if youtube's gonna play as many ads on that fucking bitch as they can don't do this dude don't do this this is my job and yeah so that's why there's ads that's a reply to someone amber girl your haggard costume is spot on i know right that'd have been more clever okay. actually <laughs> that's a reply to someone reply to someone Haha, ha, what time is that someone? What time is that someone? Tell me, please. Moderation Not sure queen. what they're talking about. Actually, I have to agree with Amberlynn on the weather. I live two hours east of her. We haven't had rain in at least two months. Yeah, it's been very dry here in Kentucky. And the rain that we do get, I love because I love rain anyways. I just don't love storms. Like, I'm not a tornado gal. It's funny. Like, the only thunder, like, the no only thing, the only comment raining, she can like, find that agrees with her it. is about the weather. Love it. So when it is raining, I get really <laughs> That's happy. That's as far as it goes. Reply to someone. 
apply to someone. What is this beautiful shimmer or glitter eyeshadow? Loved it. She doesn't even oh, know. Oh, gosh. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was about to say I don't remember. But actually, it was hard candy. And thank you so much. I loved it, too. She definitely has some sort of eating disorder. Not what palette addiction. it is. Just yes, the name of I the fucking binge makeup. eat and I am a food addict, which is unfortunate. Which is why you do muck things on camera still. I wonder if I'm actually in a show or something. Um, no, I'm not sure what that means. Okay, we're going to do one more comment. Ew, there goes lunch. So my <laughs> whole thing is, if you already knew that you oh, kind of thought I was disgusting, I don't know why you clicked on the video Video anyhow. So I hope if you no, If everyone video, that thought you were disgusting one. didn't watch your videos, you'd get no views. That's how she ends it. <laughs> She's over it. All right, so what did we learn today? Um, Amber likes to help out the homeless when she needs some content. That's, I really honestly think that's what the bulk of all of that was. I don't think she does that or thinks about that on a daily basis of any kind. She just needed something to fill in the time and this is what she picked. I love how she was going to record the volunteer worker or the worker at the homeless shelter and put them on camera, but she was already threatening to call the police, but not call the police when that woman um, recorded her out in public. So I think that that's, I find that the height of hypocrisy. Um, what else happened that was of substance? Nothing. Nothing happened. Her, her. She's not taking her makeup on. She's using a bunch of different kinds of makeup, and now her skin's breaking out. Um, I mean, I don't know. That's just how that is. I don't think it has anything to do with the makeup wipes. It probably has everything to do with the cheap makeup you're putting on your face every day and not washing off. Um, I don't know. That's pretty much all I got for that. We didn't learn anything new in this. Um, nothing of substance. I was honestly surprised that like she just couldn't let Becky have that surprise. Like I was like, just let her open it. It's her surprise. Let her open it. She, you, you don't need to get it out, take it out, hold it up for the camera, micromanage how she wears. I mean, it's like a, it's like watching a mother with like a seven year old daughter. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, no, 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 no. You're gonna put this on, close this, put it, put this on your hair. It's like, dude, she's an autonomous human being. She's an autonomous adult. She can decide how she wants to wear her jacket. She can decide if she wants to wear her jacket. She can open a present by herself. She can do a lot of things by herself. She actually does a lot of stuff by herself, judging by the fact that you never get in the car and go anywhere with her anymore. So it's like, dude, and I'm over the whole, like we had a busy day. We went to a doctor's appointment. <laughs> like that was it. That's what caused you to be flustered was you having to go to a doctor's appointment. Like, I can't, dude. Anyway, remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles.